I'm just gonna be honest. Oh, we ain't really fucking with ya. I'm just gonna be honest. Oh, fam, been riding with us. I'm just gonna be honest. Hey, what up? What's up with y'all? We back. Episode four. You hear me? City Convo. And this would be your boy Entro. Entro's the name. DC's the town. Reppin' GAT. Line them up. Gun them down. Yay. <laughs> and over here, as you can see, I'm here with two wonderful wi- la, 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 la. two wonderful ladies. I'm over here tongue tied. God damn it. <laughs> over here to my right, Miss Lovely Asia the Body. You know what I mean? The plush model, all curves, no breaks. You know what I'm saying? And over here to my left, my bestie, the one and only Leo right here. Bougie Brad K. What up? What it do, y'all? Hey, you know what I'm saying? How y'all weekend going? How's everything going with y'all weekend? Ooh, everything is fine now, y'all. I am here. It, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Man. Let me tell y'all how dedicated I am. Mm. I like to run over some cars trying to do that. <laughs> but See. I'm here. It is about to be a Why You Mad Part 2 hey, segment messing what? with Asia. Look, I told you how she feel about these streets. Stay out of her way, cuz. I'm trying to say y'all Move, don't be paying bitch. Sense. Get out the way. Okay. Hey, you know that BW Parkway. Stay out of Look, her way. I'm just That's saying. I'm say. I hear a little U-turn out here and scared some cars. Just try to get right here in front of us. So <laughs> Public service I'm announcement. I'm sorry to whoever BWI was in that little white can. car, though. If you're watching, my bad. I didn't hit you. You didn't die. You good. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Not if you ain't die. <laughs> also, I wanted to make a personal shout out to my boy, Antonio. You know what I'm saying? That's my barber right there. My man was holding me down. I don't know if y'all see the cut. You know what I mean? The boy feeling so fresh and so clean fresh. right now. Got I ain't here to flex, but you know what I'm saying? If you want to holler at him, check him out on Instagram. Twin the man 32 Twin. The man, 32, all together. And Did he's a businessman. Did you really just man. give your barber a shout-out on the show, though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I promised him he hooked me up, and he said he wanted the shout-out, so I wanted to let him know I got him. You know what I'm saying? It's all love at the end of the day. But we're about to get things started right here. Um, this first segment... You know what I'm saying? We did it once before, but I'm going to pass it over to Miss Bougie Brad K to introduce it, and we're going to get it started. All right, so the first segment we got up today is called Say Something Nice. Mm-hmm. If y'all seen the last show, it's basically where you see a meme or a picture pop up on the screen, and oh, us three, Lord. we have to say something nice. Here we go. Uh, well, I let's guess, get it started. Yeah, I guess with that being said, let's see this first one. She's very Her shiny. Her is on fleek. I uh, was just about to say, hey, uh, she got that uh, bad boy shiny as shit. Yeah. Do you hear me? <laughs> I mean, it's probably a little stiff, but hey, that's okay. When I uh, say she all sheen the shit out there, she that all is a sheen. well put hey. together. Man, I, what? Hey, very just, shiny. So I think we all locked in um, on the very shiny on the first one. So we, um, we, we doing good right now. We one for one. Let's see if we can go two um, for two. Let's see the next one. I want to see the next one, see what this one be about. Okay. You know what I'm getting right here? I'm getting college football vibes. Maybe he was at a tailgate party and he was lit. You know what I mean? Ready to go. You know what I'm saying? The outfit, I feel like he's college football material. Hey, like, yeah. Kudos to him because them thighs and them shorts, man, <laughs> he, he, made, he made it happen. I, it, I'm at a loss. I'm trying. Um, Come on, Asia. You got this. Um. <laughs> Hey, that cup look like it hold a lot of beverage. <laughs> Yo. Bruh. I got you. <laughs> she said the got cup. You. Oh, my God. All right. We, we, we two for two. two we two for two. I for had two. it. Next hey, up. I, I think that'll work. Let's see if we can go three for three. I had it. Let's see if we get. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, <sighs> Okay. Who, who threw this picture in there? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, homie. Come on, Asia. Don't let me down. <laughs> Um, focused, looking pretty focused on this. I'm gonna go with focused. I got nothing. Hey, not the buzzers, though. I about to say, I got, <laughs> I got nothing, young. Like, yeah, come on, y'all. Ladies, work with me, y'all. Come on, we can do three for three right now. Her bang, even. I, oh my god, man, I got nothing because right. she's scanning the shit out of me right now. Get, get it off the screen. No, not the buzzer. We see the buzz is about to go overkill. I, I, it's getting I don't real know. out here. Um, 
And but she got the pouty mouth. Focus and motivated. That's what I'm gonna work hey, with. Focus and motivated. She is, and, and she that it's that confidence that I appreciate. I appreciate. She, she got the duck lips. Cause oh, mm, it's no. the something lips. Listen, that's the mo- the model vibe. Though. <laughs> I'm so at a loss, y'all. I, um, she made eye contact with the camera. Yo. I, I, yeah, they, okay, that'll work. Hey. Eye contact with the camera. I like that. You know what I'm saying? May eye contact. Uh, bougie? Uh, I got nothing. Come on. <laughs> oh, you leaving God. us hanging. Come on, I bro. I got nothing. Yeah, I want the picture off the screen. That's how bad <laughs> she's scaring me. Yeah, okay, we're not. Like, this is a picture uh, that you use to scare your kids to go to bed on time. Like, if you don't go to bed, she going to come get you. Oh, see, see that's God, your something bro. positive. She like... If the boogeyman was a person. I said it wasn't going to be easy. Yeah, God go. damn it. There you go. All right, it. let's see if we can try to go four for four. You go try. Five. You know, I'm st- mm. I like her hair. Uh, hey, she matched the background. Yeah. Colorful? She's giving me like earth vibes, like hug a tree. <laughs> the earth vibes, color tree. Yo. She- that's deep. I mean, yeah, colorful. Hey, she know. wearing the shit out that outfit, regardless of how it looks. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she definitely represents the, you know, the Look, picture, the background. She is the U in Fupa. I, <laughs> <laughs> bruh, I, yeah, I, I go with, yeah, colorful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Man, she, I'm uh, telling you, she match her background. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm looking at the green. I'm like, that's, yo, that's like an even I feel match. Like she that could is. be a model for um. What's that? Uh, what's that organization? Well, what's the, which one is that? For um, Peter. There you go. Oh, I was gonna say for save the earth, but I, that too. Um. Okay. Are, we ain't through with this part yet. I swear, I feel like we have done. I, Look, yeah, yo, well, come on, y'all. We we. But good. my thing is, like, I her waist look. is snatched. It is. It is for her size. Like that is true. Like for her, her size, like, she got that little going on. Yes, yeah. girl. I don't know how, but you get it. I'ma steal one of your words. And she got confidence. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because she poses, okay. she strutting her. She, ki- oh, she God, did. She no. kicked that After hip this out segment, to the side. y'all can no longer use that as say something. Else. <laughs> I am tired of hearing that she got confidence. But we they, is not they, saying that no more. They, but that's how they took it. I mean, now we banning the word confidence from well, City Convo. Shit. Yo, me, are you serious right let now? Let me go to the thesaurus and hey, see what words listen. go with confidence now. <laughs> You're going to put that in the rule book. It, mm, so yeah, here we go with the rule book. That's going to be on why you mad next week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We already been off and on with the rules of the rule book, but nah, I I, I think we did four for four. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, uh, go us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to get things started right there, this is what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to start out early. You know what I'm saying? Check out this music video from my man, Lil Bill. Lil Bro, I see you. Yeah, PSA. Hey. Y'all check it out and tell me what y'all think. You nah, niggas be nah, so nah. where's the leash? Your girl was shady, she need this sunny D. Wow, Come deal, wow. spot, let loose about the breeze. Words to the birds, so why don't niggas sweet? Ain't no me, use a fast, take a seat. Sneak this about me, damn, quit the fret to leave. Oh, oh, Movies in the kitchen oh, with my rest of oh, oh, All my niggas that I ride like a churchy. Yeah. 60 second minute, maybe. Like rabies and go crazy. Nah. Got big guns like the Navy. Webbing the phone of Mercedes. I'm dripping sauce like gravy. They follow the flow cause I'm wavy. Told them my bell like Tom Brady. All of you niggas are shady. You mad cause I grind on the daily. I'm working, I'm counting blue bandies. I break bread, I ain't stingy. And most of you niggas be fatty. 
My rider with the hollow set, make his body flip. Pop a nigga like his head, flowing like it. I ain't a pimp, but I walk with the lamp. You see me running down on them temps. I don't care about you or your man. Rolling on my wrist, looking like I'm in 10. We ain't brodies taking nails in the chair. Niggas faking, always run to pretend. Long clip, that done they stand. And the field is intense. That's why they stay on the bench. Niggas still to their mama consent. I'm just counting them blue presidents. Keep that stick in the drum like a band. Spray a nigga like a tan. Bomb a nigga like Japan. Ice a nigga like a snowman. In the jungle like I'm Tarzan. Niggas plotting, making plans. They want me out, I understand. You hate low key, you a fan. Leave a nigga where he sang. Mask up like a Taliban. Bomb a nigga like Afghanistan. Niggas mad cause I'm wildin' out. I'm steady working while you chasing clout. Niggas bluffs and they run their mouth. On the main topic they talk about. I'm tryna make it up with my mama proud. Get out the streets in the bigger house. Fresh to peace, James, see in the clouds. Gotta watch your back just like an owl. Call on my dog just like a how. Put them dots on up just like a cow. Moving in silence cause I was loud. They said I'm a bluff, but I wonder how. Cut them down like a fingernail foul. I'm too goofy, you could tell by my smile. Niggas on it, try to copy my style. Stop what you don't cause it's gonna take a while. Mm. Smoke a nigga like a black mouth. Mm. Knock him out, man, they pack it out. Mm. Little nigga out from the south. Came from the bottom, I been through the drought. Keep it on murder, gotta watch your mouth. Nowadays, niggas soft like a couch. Keep that bag close like a pouch. Keep it rolling, battle bounce. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds sweet. Hey, shout out to Lil Bill with the PSA right there. You know what I'm saying? I see you, little bro. I'm trying to see if I can get you up here sometime soon next month because I definitely want to see you perform up here. You know what I'm saying? Get that fire content out here to everybody. Most definitely. Oh, and shout out to our bomb ass engineer, a feeble over in the back. Hey, a feeble. You know, right? I thought show. I sliced it up a little bit. Don't judge hey. me, man. Hey, you know judge what I'm saying? me not. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Hold it down. There we go. All right. So this next segment right here, these ladies are going to have a field day because every week there is some tea. And if there is tea, trust and believe we're going to have it up here, up close, exclusive. So this one right here is called What's Tea? With that being said, I let the ladies take the wheel. Okay. So... We're going to do two, a two-part West Tea. The first part of West Tea, we're going to recap and go back over a little bit from last week. Last week, we was giving you guys a rundown on the whole little Cardi B offset situation. Last week was the divorce edition. Um, hmm. So, through this past week, it has updated some, Miss Bougie. Yes, we definitely had some new development. So, Lord. now, hmm. we have offset. Um, dad, who is basically questioning, y'all know that Cardi B and all that, you know, she wants a divorce and y'all know she wants full custody of their daughter culture. So all says dad has gone out and made a statement saying that they need to basically test Cardi B mentally because she's mentally unstable to have her full time Bruh. as a full time parent. Uh. It's funny. She was stable enough for your son to marry her. Exactly. She was stable enough for your son to have a child with her. Exactly. That's deep. So how is she all of a sudden not Why? stable enough now? What I don't understand is when it gets to that point of time, why is that the first card that men pull? Oh, she crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she deranged. Because what else can they say? That's that's like the number one go-to when it comes to a woman is that bit crazy. But does it work, though? <laughs> it's like, I, I, it, no. I mean, it depends. Because some of the men know how to push them buttons oh, to yes. make them act crazy yeah. so yeah. then they could be like see me. i told you yeah. but then you got some but like, again this is, they, they the crazy own. women are women that men be attracted to no i mean we gotta chill it's 2020 we gotta chill with that pushing buttons <laughs> sometimes yeah. we ask for smoke and it's way more than what the hell we ask for I mean, right let's keep it a buck here like if you can't take the heat get the hell out the kitchen hey yeah if it's you really can't that simple take the heat why would you go over there and start the fire yeah like i mean let, let, let's keep it a buck here like look i i guys i see what y'all be thinking and i see what y'all be trying to do but at the end of the day if no. you ain't built 
for certain things to come your way in your direction. Because make no mistake, when it comes to a woman, the gloves are off when it comes to the mouth. Okay, hmm. the verbal backlash is real. So if you, it's like tennis. If you smack the ball on the one side, it's coming back the other side. And depending on how fast or how hard the ball may get hit, expect that smoke to come at full speed. That's all no, I'm going to say on that. I know what it was. He was thinking crazy in the head, crazy in the bed. Oh God! No, My not thing that. Not is that. just uh, she's not crazy. Cardi B might be. She acts wild. Like that's part of her. That's persona. her personality. You though. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And her personality is just that wild, just carefree. That don't mean she crazy just because she happens to just have that type of you know what? wildness yeah. about herself. No, or just that what carefree. Make, just because what, at the end what of makes the day, a fe- what makes thing, a female crazy? Nothing. <laughs> It's a reaction because we react how we do. Right, but people out there, what is crazy. your definition of crazy? We want to know. Put it in the comments down speak below. Speaking your mind to Sad. a man, you crazy. Girl, look, let me tell you, I saw this post on Facebook where somebody asked Bruh. that question. And real live, the majority of the answers was because we open our mouth. Just period. It ain't yeah. had to be because we said nothing in particular. Just, just mad because we talk. Just, just I mean, <laughs> I don't. I understand. say this like on on that because that question that, is for a is topic it that for we another test day. The like, intelligence is because we make you think. Like, what is it? Because it, it, I feel like we we call crazy. It's cause, a lot because yeah. women. It's a lot. Yes. I got women, a question. Oh, uh, we, 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 we can get called crazy because. We, I was told, me and my friend Tika had this conversation yesterday. Hey, Tika boo. But, um, <laughs> hey, yeah, we, back to this whole, you know, we, black women, we get stereotyped as crazy. Angry. Mm-hmm. Angry. We're bitter. All this all stuff. All because we, ch- we, ch- because we basically challenge the average black man. Uh, I mean, well, the angry and bitter part, like, I, you would agree to disagree because I feel like at the end of the day, like, that, that stereotype is, like, flat out wrong. At the end of the day, like, with that situation, look, we all got to strive and thrive to get somewhere in life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just being ourselves and just being this color. For it's real, hard. for real, to keep it a buck if we want to look at the bigger picture. Like, so all of us to, to be pointing fingers at our own gender, like, you know, the guy and the female, like, yo, we got to chill that out. We got to look at the bigger picture at hand. Hey. Y'all getting older, and with that being said, y'all need to be more smart on what you say and how you do. Now, on the crazy part, there's a lot that comes in there. It's like a little mini package. I'm not going to lie. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, it comes with the territory. Some, it's, I, to me, I think there's levels. A craziness exactly. when it comes to the female. That's you know some, what I'm saying? That's some of y'all levels of right crazy when it comes to the male too. Yeah. Y'all, I like, say, like, but you know what? I do want to reiterate what you just said, Untro. Mm-hmm. It is, it's that, it's that button pushing, and yeah. that's the part. Like, right. I don't, it's not even so much as they're crazy. It's just that we don't take no shit. And but that goes for men, women, and otherwise, yeah. Yeah. a woman know how to push a man. But to get that reaction. Mm-hmm. But like Untro said, we are at a point in time where the mm-hmm. world is pushing all of our buttons right now. So ain't no need to push each other buttons and Facts. battle back and forth like this. You know what I'm saying? Because to keep it a buck for real, for real, I think this is the biggest problem when the male and the female meet. There's no establishment. You so caught in the honeymoon phase, getting to know each other, what y'all like, what y'all have in common, and what you can do. You're not even realizing what it takes for them to be mad. Or where's the breaking point? You don't really get to the nitty gritty until stuff happens. Then when stuff oh, it's happens, too late. exactly, people react, they, they and everybody have different reactions. Whether it's verbal, an unfortunate, maybe physical. At the end of the day, if you would establish that y'all know what push each other's buttons. I promise you, things at least flow a little bit smoother than what you're doing right now. That's just me keeping yeah. it a buck, like right there. You need to establish that once you meet one another, because it, it, it's way too many incidents. That, that get way out of control. And the first thing person to be saying is, you know what, we should have talked about this. Yeah. And, Why and, we didn't do this. And going all the way back to our very first show, Talk. everybody's emotions are valid. That's a lot of what causes that crazy effect or on both sides. Is because everybody emotions should people, be valid. You got some people out the, but here they, who that's don't. The, but that's why, 
Right. Yeah. That's who why I'm don't like, give a fuck about the other per- the other person's feelings so or I'm, whatever it is. So Everybody's person feelings are valid. I'm telling the world, mm. all y'all out there, other people' feelings matter. If you want your feelings to matter, then you got to consider the fact that everybody else's matter. There is nobody in this world who feelings are more important than somebody else's. You have no right to feel like you can tear somebody down or hurt somebody. Kick them when they down. Simply to make yourself feel better. To feel better. better. That's no. not fair. Because the first thing you're going to do when somebody does it to you is claim unfair. You- Since you're on that, let's, for real, for real, let's keep it a buck. Motherfucker for what? <laughs> what do you get out of this? Right. I, I really want to know. It right. ain't money. Right. Ain't no money involved. Only thing Just I see is me. more negative than positive. And then it's a domino effect based on what the person has said. Because at the end of the day, neither one is not going to back down. Yep. That's why I think people failing to realize. Of Which course, goes if you're back ba- to me saying the reason we are get called crazy because we challenge the average man. And I think, I feel like most men in general, like... They can't handle a challenge. But at yeah, the end of the like, day, do you really want somebody that's going to be like a... Yeah, like, a yes, a yes person. No, but that's what, no. I, that's what I was saying. It was leading to what I was saying. Like, look, men, to all my guys out there, let me holler at y'all real quick. Y'all love challenges. I know y'all do because I do. At the end of the day, when it comes to a challenge, the number one thing you like to when it comes to a challenge is be willing to accept it and be willing to overcome it by all means. Look, when it comes to these black women, whatever relationship you may be, there's totally no reason for you to belittle a woman or to say anything about her. Because if we want to sim- do a simple analogy, it's like high school. Y'all don't like it when nobody was bullying you when you was in high school. So why would okay. you do it to a grown woman? Especially someone that posed to be there by your side. Let's mm-hmm. keep it a, th- a buck for real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You wasting time. You thinking that's going to make her stronger? No, that's going to make her get away from you. Right. Then when shit goes left field and it gets zero to 100, now you looking like the jackass. Well, I could have, would have, should have. Right. I mean, some women can take is, some women can actually take that shit. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's but because we've been conditioned. It goes because at the end of the day, like if you accept that the first time, the, then to the guy, he's telling himself, "Okay, how okay. far can I go?" That's the right. problem. See, that's the problem with us. We're so much the aggressive and predators. We keep poking the bear, not realizing when this bear come and attack. Now I would say, "Nigga, there. you poke me, I'm attack your ass." <laughs> <laughs> You see I what mean, I'm saying? So if you ask for smoke, of course this going to be fine. Yeah, because you, know? you, you, what you don't want, what you don't want, and this is coming from a female that is like this, and this is me just telling on myself, what you <laughs> don't want is a woman that can hold that shit to her. That, that you don't want that. Like you... She going to snap. Don't. Like don't ever... What you don't want is to ever make a woman feel like she can't be a woman. I don't know. She if, can't, I don't know if y'all she can't be herself. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to give y'all some little gem right here. I don't know if y'all noticed, but when Asia was talking, the table was shaking. So that let you know her this stuff is, is bottled real. up right there. You know what I'm saying? She was already showing signs of the anger. Hey, look, one more yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Shit could get yeah. real. Zero to 100 real quick. That was just a prime example. Yeah. You know what because I'm saying? It, and it's but again, you guys not like it again. You got some males that are attracted to crazy women until shit, till it get real and shit really starting to get crazy. Well, that's where. But also, you have some dudes who, well, you have some, well, I tell my dude this all the time. It's like a respect thing. If I was one of them type of females that'll be like busting the windows out your car and flatting your tires and shit. You sometimes you act like that, you get more respect. Like, oh, we know we can't fuck with this bitch. This bitch crazy. Yeah, see, versus that, a little a, a quiet female of, that's just like a little church. Mother. I would ask mm, yourself mm, this question. Yeah. No matter what, men, ask yourself this question. Women, ask yourself this question. Men, would you let somebody talk to your mama like that? Or your sisters or daughters Women nieces. Women Would you let somebody mm. talk to your daddy And your little brother like that Cause mm. I got little brothers And they'll tell you now nah, I don't put people oh, to yeah. sleep about I that I got two older brothers And they ain't mm. going for none of that so shit So would you do it So if you wouldn't let nobody talk to your mother Which is another woman just like us Like that Why would you do it Facts Well On that note 
I, I, see how the West T became bigger than what it is and put that right into some city Sometimes combo. Sometimes we gotta y'all. educate y'all. You know we call saying? city combo. This is for shit that we on our mind. We, we, get, we think about it. We wanna know what y'all think about it too. Yeah. So hey, go hey, ahead. Hey, if you got to, when you see the link up there, you know what I'm saying? Drop, Drop it in the comments. comments. Keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Let us know what's on your mind. We um, are called City Convo for a reason. For facts. y'all to talk. And Tell them. Y'all better start saying some shit. <laughs> Oh, now All the right. second part of this was T, since we free, I'm finna slide a song since that one got a little intense. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go to the other side of this was T, you guys. Mm-hmm. We know so, y'all be following this too. Uh, I know y'all, everybody's uh, finna get into this whole situation. So, uh, so you guys know last week, um, they came down with the whole verdict for the Breonna Taylor situation. On that same day, as that, I, Lord Jesus, on that same day, Tory Lanez decided to break his silence about the whole Megan Thee Stallion situation. No. But he chose to break his silence, not by talking and telling it. He made an album <laughs> and diss put out album. music. And it was a diss album. In the album, y'all, he had the nerve to question her being shot with the lie. words, how can you say you were shot if did no bones or tendons get hit? The fact that this woman's doctors had to come out mm-hmm. and put her medical records out there and be like, no, she was shot. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to lie. That's a hell of a way to break your silence, my nigga. Like, Bruh, you just going to drop a this album. He like, well, if I'm a speak, <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and make money off this. Shout out but to you, bro. That's Bruh, entrepreneurial. The thing is. Bad timing, but good entrepreneurial skills. Yeah, I mean, you <laughs> did it, but the thing is, you done made people so mad that people are determined not to buy it. Although not realizing, listening to I it, I guarantee it's you, it's a couple of people that He's going to make it. some money off of it. Because but of the people that he mentioned, this that he disrected is the reason why they're downloading That's what the, song, I was finna the say. album and you all You had that. the nerve to bring people like J.R. Smith into it. Bruh. People like Dream Doll. You know what I'm saying? People Masika that ain't even. Kalisha, <laughs> Masika, like, right. Like these people didn't even have, not realizing these people keep time to go off. Yeah. <laughs> and to, Tory, or Tory Lanez, and for all them and out there, y'all do know women don't delete shit. We keep all screenshots, Bro. all text messages, Man. all voicemails called if you choose to. Leave a voice message. How many times you done called our phone? Yes, we screenshots all this shit. Hashtag receipts. Where do you think that uh, come okay. from? <laughs> <laughs> we don't delete nothing. So, Tori, I'm sorry. Like, bro. Dream and Daughter then, came out and del- she didn't release some uh, DMs about him hitting her up, inviting inviting her to his party that he had in Miami for last year. And my thing. Like, and, we keep receipts, boo-boo. And on top of that, bro. not only that, in the song... You brought up the fact that she was supposed to be mad because you tried to holler at Kylie, so you put her in the in the mix of it. And at the end, please somebody, she, anybody out she there, put it that. in the comments. How is it that he talked all this shit about her, but then had the nerve to say he want her back? I want you back. <laughs> I tell you why. Yo, seriously? Yeah. So, bro, come on. Because she got that a whop. Look, on that note, I'm going to keep my answer short and brief. This is a That's bunch of bullshit. You back. She this got is that some bullshit. Whop, whop, whop. You created a roller coaster ride, whether they fact or last. This is a roller coaster ride of what the fuck? <laughs> like, how the, this is one of those cases, like, how do we get here? Like, right, you know what nah, I mean? Like, that's no. some toxic ass shit. That's toxic. And toxic in capital letters, all the exclamation toxic. marks you can add after the, the motherfucking word. This shit's some in bullshit. The front of it all. Yay. Yay. Bob Swag. Swan Dog. Swan Dog. Ha. I got you, D. I got you. Let's do it. What's good, shorty? How you tryna act? Got something for your body? Get your mind on track. Want me stick it like this? Want me stick it like that? Buddy, yeah, I'm gonna stick it all the way in your back. 
I'm in the building, feeling like a superstar. I'm going hard and I'm buying drinks by the bar. Starting big at my fellas in those nice cars. Getting recognized by them fancy ass bras. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Money, sex, and power. I'm trying to break you off, baby, during after hours. She very kinky, freaky, during after hours. Sex indoors, outdoors, and the shower. No luggage, but somebody got bad. Now I got a good ass girl gone bad. By yours truly, with that city swag. I break her back till she waves out the white flag. Real life. When it rains, it pours. So I go harder, shorty, till her body sore. The boy shorts, lingerie, just you naked. Cause after the first round, yeah, I want sex. What's good, shorty? How you tryna act? Got something for your body, get your mind on track. Let me stick it like this, let me stick it like that. Buddy, yeah, I'm gonna stick it all the way in your back. What's good, shorty? How you tryna act? Got something for your body, get your mind on track. Let me stick it like this, let me stick it like that. Buddy, yeah, I'm gonna stick it all the way in your back. See, I think her name was Ebony, or maybe it was Lisa. Fuck Whatever it. that bitch name was, I knew she was a creeper. Cam, I met her on the block with my man from the Ave, and I knew all she wanted was a nigga with some cash. So I flashed my little ice, made that bitch look back twice. Then she walked over and asked, what's your plans for the night? And I said, you, and she said, cool. So what's the move? Should I call my crew? Call your friends, tell them all come through. Or we'll just cool, that's us too. Just hit my phone. I'll be waiting, don't be long. I'm not patient, cause these days I'll be facing, and your ass I'll be replacing. Look, my track list is long. I fuck a whole lot of bitches, think I'm lying. I'll prove it. I got a whole lot of pictures. Got a whole lot of swishes. Smoke a whole lot of weed. Like my bitch, I skinny. And I like my tree like green. Got my strap right next to me. Cause the feds love checking me. Bitches on my dick. Fuck head, they be necking me. What's good, shorty? Got something for your body. Get your mind on track. Let me stick it like this. Let me stick it like that. You know what it is, uh, plain and simple, it's you and me, ain't no need to press the issue. A prize possession, a blessing in the skies, any nigga would kill to have you by their side. So listen here, pay attention, one day you will soon realize what you've been missing. But action speaks louder than words, so take this pipe and experience the world turns. G status, you can hate it or love it, she wet as shit Damn, Damn, let me get the bucket, nah fuck it This pipe I'm giving, she gonna love it And she knows how to blow it, baby Trumpets, open your legs, I make a scene in the scene Suck that pussy just like a slurpee Missionary doggy style, yeah, I'm a work I drill hard and deep, baby, construction work What's good, shawty? How you trying to act? Got something for your body, get your mind on track Let me stick it like this, let me stick it like that Buddy, yeah, I'm gonna stick it all the way in your back huh? Hey you know what I'm saying? We back. Yeah, yeah, you see the little sticky video. Shout out to me. You know what I'm saying? Putting that together. Got to give yourself a pat on the back. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? That ain't the hey, most conceited you gotta shit. Your own nah, but shout out to my nigga Bob. You know what I'm saying? My man Swan Dog for holding it down for that song. You know what I'm saying? Andro said, "Two toot in this bitch." Hey. Right. You just tooted your own horn. Shout I mean, out you to know, you. Every now and then, you gotta gotta do it once in a while. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody said. Hey, that, that should be some motivation for y'all. Every now and then, look at the mirror, give yourself a pat on the back for being blessed. You know what I mean? For okay. being here in this world. You know. But um, this next segment here, we did this last week, and last week it was quite intense because the questions y'all had was mind blowing. So with that being said. We ain't want to leave y'all hanging. So today, this is part two of the fan questions. We're going to spend a little more extra time with y'all and understand parental Lord. discretion is advised. You know what I'm saying? Lord. So Lord. we're just giving I the best advice the best Why? way possible. You know, Yo. I'm going ahead and spark this off. Oh, you know Lord. what I'm saying? Mm. Jesus, take the wheel. I know, right? 10-2, 10-2. We're just trying to help. Oh. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm a, I'm a, uh. I'm gonna go mm. here. Okay, I got a short one, so let's see. The short ones be the scary ones. What the? F see? Yo, would you rather date an older or younger male slash female? Older. Older. 
<laughs> or same age. You got to um, be same age or older. I got a set of brothers that are five years younger than me. If you are anywhere close to their age, then I look at you like a little brother. They spoke for me older on that one. See, that was real short and brief. That was cool. We, we were on the same page. Only mm-hmm. time would tell as we pass this bowl oh, to the right. Shout out to my boutique for sending in that question. Hey, oh, that was, hey, see you. Okay. Nice one. Uh, oh, oh, God. You got the essay joint, bruh. <laughs> oh. Bruh. Can be some simple shit like going out with my girls or going out with my best friend who is male. And I won't go because I know my nigga is going to say something. Mm. He just wants me to be in the house all the damn time and that's not me. What should I do? <sighs> don't. don't yeah. Yeah, what, what, what she should do? Uh, I asked the question. I gotta think a second. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Right off hand I would, first of all I would suggest maybe Trying to do your do go out. See if maybe you and him could go out and do some things. Maybe introduce him to your friends, you know, so that he can see Ding. that they're cool people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Not because um, that other just running out the door is going to cause a problem. And I know if you don't want to sit in the house, if you can't get him to go out, then I would say try to get him to, you know. I have know a your question. People. Do he have, he really. I mean, I know most dudes don't like their girl to have male friends, but I don't understand why would he have a problem with you going out with your with your girls. Yeah, that's a good point too. Now right. that you think like, about it, I mean, for for what I, mean, I I'm pretty sure he go out with his niggas, right? Uh, I was just so about to ask that question. So because yeah, I'm about to say it's a time and a place for everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? If she wanted to go out with her friends, let her go out, have some time. Not even hey, that. Bitch, look, like, Whoever just asked this question, if you just asking for help on the low low because you can't get out, just let us know. We'll let you know. We'll get you. Some I help. mean, not even yes. that. Y'all already know. I be having questions within the question. For your male best friend, how long have y'all been friends? Right. I mean, was he a friend before the boyfriend? Yeah, like if, was he there before your boyfriend? Because if so, boyfriend. fuck your boyfriend. Honestly, I feel like we was untangling something, and now you with that question, now you tangling something. So now it's like we back to square one. Because that that <laughs> oh my god, like I hate no, questions. I mean, like I that. just if feel that, like that ain't a dumb that was no, a good question from, that she asked because if he was there before the boyfriend got there, then I feel like the boyfriend should know him. Like yeah, like they should be just cool. like any other best friend, boyfriend, sh- bo- best friend, boy best friend, or whatever should have been uh, like, hey, I'm best friend. Just want you yeah, to know, and if like, you do a they wrong, be going I'm gonna beat out you to the strip club, just like all other together. best friends do. So that's if he was there first, I feel like there should not be an issue. If not, and this friend all of a sudden just popped up, then yeah, he need to be all our friend. Yeah, man. Everybody need to get to know one yeah. another. He need to be everybody. It shouldn't friend. be that serious, but I say at, at least for the guy's behalf, like, yo, if she want to go ahead and spend time with her friends, let her go ahead and spend I mean, time with her friends. as long as you checking in. Right. Yeah, and, and then not only that, like... Sharing locations. Something. Like, also on top of it, it creates new conversation. Like, to be... Look, listen, to be in the house 24-7, especially with the stuff that's going on right now in 2020, can really cause a huge ruckus, like, not only for yourself, but also for your significant other. Because at the end of the day, like, they putting us in a situation where you're boxed in right now. So some type of freedom can create new conversation and also it probably can enhance your communication in the relationship. So sometimes maybe that little here and there space that you may have may be something that you could possibly learn from one another. I got a question. God damn, I'm trying to detangle this. I keep tangling it. Trying to so, I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm down for what you, what you just said with the whole, you know, mm-hmm. let her go out and things like that. Um, my question is, and this is to everybody, mm-hmm. has this, has the pandemic really put strains on relationships that serious? Like, did people not spend time together before the, the pandemic? No, I, I, I was I mean, I'm not saying that, but what I feel like what it did was manipulate the mindset of being closed and being more cautious. Said, so it's like when it's time for you to go outdoors now, yeah. you see masks is the new normal. Uh, you got a, what, a, I don't know, a COVID-19 guideline procedure to go through but before you still, can step outside like and smell the birds and the bees. 
It's a hey, lot of dudes out there me, who I'm, I'm are. Just, look, we dude. back to fundamentals again. Like I got a it's lot a lot of to it's a lot again. of dudes out there though that is using the pandemic not to. You know, not to be able to like, uh, not to be able to like take their girl out on a date or like even just doing some slight shit. Yeah. Like oh, that, we is in well. what we the, what is it the second phase in DC? Like nigga, go out. Man, do oh, the only relationships that's making it through the pandemic is the ones that was just stuck up on each other anyway. So. Sidebar. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed. For Side us. note. I'm glad everything. you said that. That second phase. When the hell are we gonna get to the third phase? I've been geeking. To see what the other third phase it oh. is right now. I've been hearing phase two. Now we don't even hear it on the news no more. They ain't even trending with it. So it was just phase two. This is where I we mean, at. But what like, would phase three be, though? I everything mean, everything, everything would is open. open. Every Not really. I mean, it would phase to, three would probably phase, be like they I like they get rid of the curfew. I mean, no, I think maximize phase, the capacity think about of people yeah, for I'm one. Say, get rid I of that damn phase curfew. Three is the I have whole. never had to be in the house at no fucking 12 o'clock. The fuck? I am a Unknown curfew. Like, it was a curfew. I, I mean, that's what they was having you doing when they, when they hit. Bad. Though I'm gonna pass it over here because we we getting sidetracked I, of what's going on. I ain't had a curfew since I was like 12, so I. <laughs> Bruh. I hear that yeah, word in the soon They talk to somebody else. Yo, Lord, your eyes oh, got real big. Lord. Yo, what you got? Cause your eyes got real uh, big. Let like me drink my water. Mine. So, uh, this is a question I'm get from last week. I feel so uncomfortable answering this. It says, I am currently sleeping with one of my coworkers who is also who is also my friend's son. He is a half my age. I am currently married. I feel so guilty lying next to my husband in the bed at night, but my husband isn't satisfying me sexually in bed. What should I do? First of all, y'all not doing this no damn justice with these questions. This sounds like a movie. Okay, this this sounds like some a real ass movie. I got the shakes because I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, wait, hey, yo, you probably should go Stop ahead. Stop that shit. And, Stop. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank Stop you. it out. Yeah, yeah. Stop. See that red buzzer? Stop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Cut it blue one on the end, too. Whatever color you, the you need. Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, like, red light. Yeah, like, yo, stop what you doing, bruh. Red light Cease on that. And this is this. just me. Yo, Qu- yo. Fuck that. Wait a oh, minute. Wait. Question on a question. Shit. Have you, does your husband know he's not sexually satisfying you? Because I feel like that's a conversation. And that how needs are to you looking had. at the friend every day or however how many times you, you see her, knowing you fucking her kid? Like, no. mm, I mean, you deep. said he younger than you. Yo, how young we talking? Yo, that's crazy. And another question, bro. I'm sorry, I'm nosy. How did this happen? Yo. Where does this happen at? Well, if for starters, right younger, now, as you can hear, all these questions are being said. Let's try this. Stop what you doing. Stop. Right. Yeah, cease red light. Stop. Look cease in the mirror. And get yourself together. Cease and desist. And I don't. I don't condone cheating, but like, nah. Look, you got it's a conversation that you need you to be need to that do. you need to have with your husband. Right. Put on your big girl drawers. And let him <laughs> okay. know, nigga, you is not satisfying me. Something uh, got uh, to uh, get. Hey, two. One hey. or two things need to go. Either y'all need to buy the Kama Sutra and try it, or you need to Yo. just. Talk about doing something. Me, you and your husband may not need this. I don't know if if sex is the own is the breaking point of y'all. Maybe y'all are beyond marriage. I hate to say it like that. How but, long have y'all been married? And how long have you been sleeping with this child? Because this is a child. I don't give a damn what you say. Because you forward. just said half your age. Yo. Half. So that means, bitch, if you thirty, he fifteen. How old are you? <laughs> Oh man, yo, you gonna go ahead and slide that back yeah, down that way. Yeah, just, just stop what you're doing and <laughs> just like just cut yeah. it out. Go ahead, and have that, that convers- yeah. Go ahead, and have that conversation with your husband. Yeah, bro. That is a stop conversation it, that definitely needs to be had right, bro. asap. Let me see what I got here. Call your preacher. Oh These long shit. questions, God. What is My boyfriend on? keeps hinting that he wants a threesome. Oh. Oh, I don't want to do it, but I'm afraid if I don't, he's going to leave me or he's going to end up cheating on me. What should I do? Show that nigga the dough. Right, <laughs> let him go threesome with somebody else. What you, first off, what you mean you scared? Oh, if just you about don't to say do it. Scared or what? It I is mean, plenty of fish in the sea, boo boo. 
Okay. I mean, that it's that some sharks. Him, I show, show him too. The door. If you really want it, what is if you y'all really, about? If y'all really watched us, you would know in the first episode your question was kind of answered. If you switch the wigs up, you got a threesome, a foursome, a fivesome. If you was yeah, watching us, they kind of hinted before you gave us this question how you could display that. Uh, what what now? I like that buzzer. I love that buzzer. I hate it right now. <laughs> so. Man, I got a question. Uh, sh- Come y'all, on. Again, y'all know me. Question within the question. <laughs> Bruh. This is those. for the men out there. Oh. Shit. Here we for go. the men that's asking for a threesome, do y'all even have enough stamina to even have a threesome? B- Bruh. Are we really That's doing a this? legit question. Are we really? I really want to know. You tired after dealing with one woman. How you going to deal with two at the same time? All right. Well, let me. Hold on. Let me look because the, the way how y'all come in at men is kind of crazy. Look, in that situation, for them to have that thought, they want a new challenge. And you thinking about it in a new challenge sexually, they probably that's what they next thought what it is. If you all the challenges in the world, I mean, look, look, hey, we ain't say every challenge was if a good you challenge. Try, you want to try, try say that. Try going you, vegan. But what I'm saying is It's all fun and games Until now you over there Laid in the corner Can't breathe and shit And they both sitting on the bed Staring at you You over there having Heart palpitations and shit Right They over there Looking at each other Like well shit Since he ain't here So what's up bitch What you doing Come here Like Hold on Y'all making it sound like Niggas ain't built to last Like god damn Wait a minute why my niggas got to be disabled? Like, what? hold on. Man. It sound, a threesome sounds <laughs> nice until a threesome sounds nice until you find out that your bitch Ow. is still fucking the other bitch. Yo, now or find out that your nigga is still fucking the bitch behind your back. Right. See, that it's all and funny games is, until and, shit and, and get then real. What, and then how you gonna feel if she holler? Yeah, I'm down for the threesome, but you thinking two girls and she with two dudes. It, so that's, how hold you on, because it's still a threesome. Oh okay. yeah, that's a that's definitely a next topic for the uh. See, the that's what show. I'm saying. See? God damn it, y'all killing see? me with the question. No, well, let's just go over here with the bow because I see <laughs> right. I see what exactly where this is going. <laughs> Jesus, uh-uh, I don't want nothing folded up. Yeah, yeah man, look. I don't want nothing folded. Uh, uh-uh, that was super folded. I already know. <laughs> super folded. Why is it that women give men more chances than men are willing to give women? Because we so damn. I was going over here. You know what I'm saying? Because we so damn no forgiving. Time. I got this. Uh-uh, go ahead. I want to hear this. Okay. Hey, hold on, hold on. The reason is, it's based on the emotion. Let me explain. For instance, I know, I ain't going to say I know, but knowing most of the women, it's the one thing you don't want to have is guilt when you're giving that person that chance. For instance, let's say hypothetically they were supposed to do something and they didn't do it. With that being said, the guy be willing to show if y'all see some type of improvement then you're willing to give him a chance unlike a guy it's shame on you and then the second time it's shame on me unfortunately we go based on logic and we be more harsh with our chances but i feel like with a woman giving more chances to a man they want to see the change the difference are they willing to learn compromise and be better with me giving you this extra chance that's why i feel like women always more willing to give a chance to a man than a man giving a chance to a woman. Booyah! Okay. Oh, that's your boy, man. You gotta get that one in there. You Slide feel me? Down her. Right, yeah, look, she saying, ready for okay. smoke. Okay. See, how you, okay. see how they ready for okay. smoke? They won't even let me shine okay. for a little minute. I, I, I have nothing to say. We got you one, see, let's see if we can pull off one more before this break. Let's see if we can pull it off. Oh, Lord. Uh, see, Here we you go. go. Would see. you date someone who was 55 years old if they told you they would take care of you? How old are you? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Because okay. if you're like 40 or above, I feel like go for it. Shit. I'm kind of. No, well. what the fuck? Nah, uh, no, nah. I would not. What you focus on? The 401k plan? Like, how's, like, how's this he work? He's 55. Like, <laughs> y'all saying that like he said 85. I mean, but. 75, 55. Have any of y'all noticed what the 55 year old men are starting to look like nowadays? I mean. So they look like the 35 year old no. men. So it's not like you're compromising a lot except for your 401k plan. I mean, so I, mean, I just think about you're like, winning. The end game. Your, your 55, you 
probably got a daughter my age or older than you. Hey, so, I mean, daughter, girl. I ain't gonna lie, look, you, you look, look kind of crazy. Look. I don't you look kind of no crazy if you 55 we wear the and you same chasing. size shoe, bitch. No, look. No. We can go on a girl's trip together. Damn no, your daddy. Let's no. go. Nah, that's no. All I know is. That is terrible. If my daddy was living, I would not, rest in peace, dad, I would not want him to introduce me with a daughter my age. Like, oh, yeah, this is Ashley. Okay, but then, like I said, but that's a difference. That's a difference. If you are close to that age, like I said, if you're 40 or up, y'all close enough in age that you don't, I doubt, seriously, if you have. Whoever you asked this question, yeah. how old are you? But it's yeah, something. Yeah, now, if question. you like, that's why you, that was my first question. College, how old are you? Because yeah. like if you're like 18, dating. you just want a sugar daddy. You can just yeah. say that that's what you want. Because if you I mean, like, it's a website called sugarbabies.com. You just looking for a sugar daddy, pretty much. That's all you got to say. They everywhere. Type that shit in on the computer and you can find it. If that's what you want. Girl, they live and well on Instagram and Twitter. Okay. <laughs> you, they everywhere. And if, shit, you need a sugar mama. They got them. They too. got them too. Well, I didn't have one jump in my DM. As you heard from the ladies, right? you got your answer Girl, right, right? close and personal. Um, we gonna go ahead and go to this music video. Y'all check it out. Tell me what y'all think. All that. Yeah. GT Southside Entro Bumblebee Ghost. Cruddy D, Lil Bill, Tenth Play, Young Tank, Go. I can't play, uh-uh, uh-uh, I gotta work all day, yeah. I can't play, uh-uh, uh-uh, I gotta work all day, gotta get the green all means, my team gotta eat, spit, hit, GT, SOE, gotta work all day, Go. money on my mind all day, all night, we grind, we shine, we do it real life, gotta work Gotta get the green all means my team gotta eat spit hit GT FOE gotta work all day Money on my mind all day all night we grind we shine we do it real life Let's get it I'm in a crush, you niggas the lush, you don't even know us, you no, niggas must no. search, you making me first, the way you so cursed, you making me laugh for lot of years. you niggas are valid while I can belligerent, you was an immigrant, that is a difference, I could be ignorant, you was a little I'm just considerate, you was an idiot, I really am serious, I would have been there catching my rhymes delicious, you the more with that nigga is vicious, you niggas suspicious that this is a new addition, fame is a mission, sign me like a petition, life is a game exhibition, calm down before we touch it down, call it demolition, I gotta work all day, it's no days off, we ain't getting no Break. Nah, me and Lil Bill, we the hottest in the building. Ain't nobody taking our place. Nah. Hold up, wait, wait for a second. Please don't test us, please don't fake. Huh? Uh -huh. Got ghosts in the cut and he'll fry you like a steak. Hey, young Tate, run up wrong and he'll put you in your place. All my niggas, they be wildin', they be actin' like some apes. Hey, black out, what it do? What it and Bumble B, and I'll throw two. Hey, shout out to the gang, everything real live, ain't nothing new. Hey, I can't play, uh uh, uh uh. I got a word. Yeah, check who got the boot up, loose boots, but I'm stomping. Crew stay on 
control you dudes lose But we rockin', never hesitatin', we just get to the money If it grew on trees, well, call me Paul Bryan Work time, work time, no play, give me any track I slay Killin' instrumentals, cause my mental filled with venom Call me Master P, cause my lyrics has no limit I make them say, uh, when I meant it <laughs> Stay above ground Got my ten toes touching young Tay with us and we all thuggin' You dip shits, get dip quick with that dipstick That's that four fifth, I rip shit, I'll rip well, I can't play, uh-uh, uh-uh I got a word all day I can't play, uh-uh, uh-uh I got a word all day Gotta get the green always, my team Gotta eat spit, hit shit, see, F-O-E Gotta work all day Money on my mind all day, all night We grind, we shine, we do it real life Gotta work all yeah, day go. No golf shit, we on course Staying on the green Live from Southside, respect the king and queen Hey, Queen hit yeah. best fit when she near Ain't about to play fit, let's be clear Working what we do, you ain't no equal This hit a warm up, just wait on the seat. You know what's up, trying to get the big bucks Blick blue Andrew Love, uh, fuck a leprechaun, don't need good love. I'ma get this money, no shortcuts. If I spit it, I live it, I'm in it to win it. The pitch is vivid, my boss and infinite money. I'm with it, I'm never a gimmick. I'm alright, words to Kendrick. You can't touch this, fuck this, be about to go off this. No time for the soft shit. Upper echelon, running marathons. You in the dust at GAT, we gone. Jumping you bitches like her who's heard. You wanna be part of our circle with ghost yeah. DJ, yeah. be a bill troll. You bitches will need to know. B win, cray cray, I'ma work, no play. Okay, touche, this I be gonna play. Any he say she. Say or anyway, gonna get good fish fillet. I'm kinda humble, so I wouldn't say this usually. Nah. But Bumble's basically barbaric, beating bitches brutal. Yeah, yeah nigga, you guess that we back on our test I'm saying, hope y'all checked out the video. Hope y'all love it. You know what I'm saying? Had the fam up there, little bro, big bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was bro. on that joint. Check us Damn. out. <laughs> Everybody. Well, let just, us. We'll as episode four worry. comes to a conclusion, the quote of the day I want to leave with y'all is if you're good at something, find ways to be great. Never settle, man. I don't care what it is, whether it's your job, your hobby, or a passion that's something that you love to do. If you good at it, find ways to be great. Don't never settle, for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I know there's a lot of people and there's a lot of stuff that's going on with the world today and people just doing stuff just because. Like, nah, find your purpose in life. You know what I'm saying? And if you good at something, then be great at it. Make people remember you. Leave your mark. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, before I close it out, you know what I'm saying, uh, as you can see, we had, had a wonderful time with y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed us from the fan questions, hey. saying something nice, hey. and these ladies giving you that hot, spicy, messy-ass tea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's head dubbed the lovely queen beside me on the right. Check her out also. Hey. She got that fire content. The Honest Song is on all streaming Woo! platforms. You heard that me? Song, my All streaming song, platforms. Oh my you know what I'm saying? Um, with that quote of the day, uh, I think I passed you, Asia, the body. What's them three words we leave them with? Cut the shit. Real life. Yeah. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just gonna be honest